So when it comes to publishing, are you a short-term thinker or a long-term thinker? In other words, are you trying to make money as fast as possible or as much money as possible? Because that's the main difference between short-term thinkers and long-term thinkers, especially when it comes to publishing. Now, I'm sure that 100K is a goal that most of you want to achieve with publishing. And by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this goal. And it's a lot easier than you think. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's easier than you think. Because when I reached this goal, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how easy it was to make 100K with KDP. And I'm going to show you how you can do the same. Now, I was watching an Alex Hormozzi video and he was talking about how the longer you can delay the amount of money that you make the more money you can make i don't know if that makes any sense but i'm going to explain everything to you right now first of all let's think about short-term publishers here's how they think because i used to be a short-term publisher as well so let's say we figured out a niche and we know what we're going to publish and we create the book and we need to pay for a book cover we need to pay for formatting we need to pay for a ghostwriter we need to pay for a plus content and we need to pay for ads this seems like a lot of things to pay for i understand just give me a few seconds to show you where i'm going so let's say the book cover costs you $300. Formatting costs you $400. The ghostwriter costs you 1.2k. Let's say you're writing a 30,000 word book and it's super high quality so you're going to pay the highest price. A plus content might cost you only $200 and your ads are probably going to cost you, let's just give some big numbers just to be safe. Let's say $500 your first month, $1,000 your second month and another $1,000 your third month. Now after your third month you should be profitable which means your ads are basically free because whatever money you give in you get more out. So you're just making in profit it's not a cost anymore so what's the total cost of all of this so we have one two three point two three point five four four six hundred so it's four point six k and i know four point six k sounds like a lot of money i understand not everyone can afford to spend four point six k on a book but i'm just i'm just going to do some random maths now just to show you what i mean by long-term and short-term publishers so let's say you spend four point six k just to launch your book and actually start making it profitable now in your third or fourth month let's just say that you're only making four hundred dollars every single month profit now from my experience and from working with clients as well half of your royalties are spent on ads so if you're making 400 profit you're probably also spending 400 on ads which means in total you're making 800 but half of that is being spent on ads and the other half is profit that's how you make 400 profit so you get 800 in royalties but because you spend 400 on ads you get 400 profit so is this book successful if you've spent 4.6k just to get it to become profitable and then it only gives you 400 dollars a month is that book profitable was it a good investment a short-term publisher would say no that's terrible i want thousands of dollars a month i should expect even more and i agree with you you should aim for thousands of dollars a month from one book but this is not bad and i'm going to show you why now so a short-term publisher will look at 400 dollars a month and say this book is a failure is this book even worth it but a long-term publisher has a different mindset i'm going to show you the mindset that we have now so let's say times 12 which is the months of the year over the course of a year you're making 4.8k in profit so in one year you make 4.8k in profit which means you break even basically you might make $200 extra but basically you break even now that seems terrible I, I completely agree with you but here's the thing long-term thinking publishers don't look at the monthly income they're not basing their success on the monthly income but instead they're basing the success on the value of the asset so how much is this book that's bringing in $400 a month how much is it actually worth and how do you figure that out well you figure that out based on how much someone is willing to pay you for your business so how much is someone willing to pay you to sell this asset to them because yeah the book is making $400 a month but that's an asset that's bringing in $400 a month now what you can do after a year of profit after 12 months of profit what you can do is sell that asset sell that business and do you know how you measure the full valuation of your business is anywhere from times 30 to times 40 of what you make every single month in profit so that means if you make $400 a month even though this is a very low number the median is let's say times 35 now what's 400 times 30 well that's around 14k so if you can get a book to only make you $400 a month and you can do that over the course of 12 months then you can sell that business for 14k and that's one book now people love buying online businesses because they care about the cash flow more than the money if you have half a mil sitting in your bank account you're not going to leave it sitting there because it's not making you money but if you buy a business 14k and it only has one book making you $400 that business still stays at 14k so you're constantly making $400 a month and then anytime you want you can just sell the business back again at 14k it won't lose the value unless your books go down now what does that mean that means that if you want to make 100k what do you have to do and by the way 400 dollars is very very doable that's like the low end if you can make a book and you reach 1k in profit obviously if you're in the program then you understand exactly the whole process to reach 1k profit but if you can get a book to make you 1k profit and you times that by 35 which is the average then now you have a 30k business from one book or even if you have two books doing 500 
dollars each again you have a 30k profit business or if you have a higher multiplier you can go even higher 40k business this is 35k by the way under the mass world so long-term publishers aren't thinking about the quick monthly income or profit that they're making they're thinking about how much is the overall business valued at what's the value of the business now what do you have to do to make 100k super simple if you want 100k you divide it by 35 which is the average multiplier i don't know how they figure out the multiplier some people might get 29 other people might be times 30 or times 40 i've even seen times 42 but let's say the average is times 35 so if you want a 100k if you want a six-figure publishing business all you have to do is divide it by 35 you only have to make around i did the math before by the way i'm not a math genius but you only have to make 2.8k in profit per month that's it if you make 2.8k in profit per month you have a six-figure business that people are willing to buy you just have to maintain this for 12 months now guess what you're not going to make a book and wait for 12 months you're going to make a book and then maybe two months from now you make another book and the next two months you make another book and guess what's happening to your income it's slowly slowly growing now in the profitable publisher program i show you all my steps that i take from start to finish from research to profitable book and all you have to do is just repeat that process over and over again for your new books and your income will slowly grow now the best part is you don't actually have to spend 4.6k i have a book that i spent 800 dollars making the book it's a kid's book the font is a little bit big which means i need less words to reach 120 or 150 pages now 800 dollars is what i spent on the ghostwriter the a plus content did it myself book cover did it myself formatting did it myself that book has been running for four months and it's making 400 dollars in profit every single month 400 dollars is not a lot of money i didn't make that book to make me tens of thousands of dollars a month in fact i actually made it test out some things but it was still profitable now a lot of you guys are going to see 400 dollars a month and say oh this book is making 400 dollars a month but what i see is this book is valued at 14k this is a 14 thousand dollar book if at any time i want to sell the business i can sell it for 14 thousand just with this one book now do you think i want to stop at one book or am i going to keep making books well if this was working you know what i want to do i'm going to make a second book in the same niche same brand so i can build a brand and when you're building a brand you don't increase like this you increase like this you understand because if you publish in one niche here and then your book is growing then you publish in a different niche here then that book is growing at the same rate if you publish in a different niche here your income is growing at the same rate but if you start a brand your first book might take a while to take off but then when you make a second book because it's in the same brand they help each other sell so that goes that increases a lot more exponentially and when you make a third book in that brand then again because these two are helping you sell this one it helps with the honeymoon period and then when this blows up it helps the other two blow up even more and with your brand your income exponentially increases so in order to actually reach 2.8k you don't need a lot of books you can do it with three maybe four books especially if they're in the same brand because they help each other sell now if you can reach 2.8k with four books then you have a six-figure business that you can sell and people are willing to buy it there was even someone that sold their kdp business for 3.5 million or 3.2 million something like that now i don't know how many books they had i don't know what books they created but do you think they were a short-term publisher or a long-term publisher they were a long-term publisher that's why they were able to sell it for 3.2 million so when i'm creating a new book and i see that it costs so much to make the book i'm not trying to make my money back within the third month or the fourth month or the fifth month i'm trying to make sure that book is steadily growing over the course of a year so then once that year is over i have an asset in the business that increases the valuation of the business and when i decide to exit the business that's when i can get all my profits so if you're one of the long-term thinkers and you want to make a bunch of money with kdp you have a higher chance of making massive amounts of money on kdp by being patient and making sure your books are steadily growing in order to reach four months of profit so you can actually have an asset that you can sell at any time you want because at the end of the day you're not just making books you're creating assets that are bringing in income and people are willing to pay a lot of money for assets that bring in income now i didn't know that you can sell kdp businesses a year ago or two years ago i don't i can't remember when i sold my business but when i sold my business this is all i was making when i sold my first kdp business i was only making 2.8k and i had like three books i was making it with three books because i did this i did the brand and i let it run for two years i think and then i realized oh sean sold his business i wonder how much my business is worth i put it up they said 100k and i was like 100k i'm stupid that was a seller and i did now once i sold it you know what i did i started making more books but i stopped focusing on making books that are bringing in a little bit of income every month i started focusing on books that are going to sell well throughout the year or throughout two years or three years in order for me to have that one day where i can sell the business for half a million a million two million now even though that sounds insane if you can reach almost 3k in profit with three books and back then i had half the knowledge of what i have now even less than half because i use this money to test out a bunch of different things on kdp now that i know that this brings me this it's irrelevant to me if my income went a little bit lower than last month or a little bit 
higher than last month because I'm seeing it at six months at a time. The time frame that I'm looking at my income is six months, 12 months. I'm looking at long term, which is why I like to publish in evergreen niches. I don't like to publish in seasonal niches. I want the book to sell throughout the year. I care about building the reviews. I care about building the book. So over the course of the year, if you're only making $400 from one book, you're going to get the money back that you spent on the book. If you decide to publish it for 4.6K or whatever, over the course of the year, you can get your money back on what you spend publishing and marketing it at the start. And then once you get your money back, you make even more money by selling it. Now, selling the business is not for everyone, I understand. And I know it might take a year for you to do all of this, but guess what? That year is going to pass whether you like it or not. You're still going to live through that year. But during that year, are you going to focus on the long-term gains or the short-term gains? That's a business decision that you're going to have to make. But anyway, I hope you found this video valuable. I know I didn't teach you really much about KDP, but I'm just trying to show you what's possible. And this is the mindset that I have when I publish books. I always think about how much does this increase the valuation of my business, not how much is this book making a month. That way, I'm not scared about spending money on ads. I'm not scared about spending money on creating quality books. I'm not getting overwhelmed about the short term royalties or if I'm losing a little bit of money on ads because I know the long term picture is much better than the short term picture. But anyway, I hope you found this video valuable. I'll make sure a little playlist pops up here on the whiteboard. If you click on the playlist, it's going to teach you how to make a bunch of money on KDP. And yeah, good luck with your business.